Flying faster for a cheaper price has always been the dream for the future, especially back in the 1980s. Back then, the Concorde as it was called, was pointed to as the plane that would dominate the next century. A typical flight from New York to London would take 7 hours in a normal plane. With the Concorde, this flight would only take 3.5 hours. However, this plane, as we all know today, had many problems. Fuel was expensive and limited the range. The plane was also extremely noisy and disturbed citizens as Concords flew by. In addition, it was also said that the plane was destroying the ozone layer. Immediately, hope for supersonic flight diminished. But what if I told you that there is a new supersonic plane coming soon? This is where Tesla's supersonic vertical takeoff and landing jet comes into play. A machine that Elon Musk has been dreaming of building for years now. At some point, um, I have a design in mind for an electric supersonic vertical tech one landing plane. And I think there's a particular opportunity for um, a supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. Supersonic uh, electric jet. Vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. A supersonic electric vertical takeoff and landing jet. An, an electric jet. In this video, I'm going to go over how Tesla will soon disrupt the airline industry as you know it. Welcome to Casgains Academy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. We've seen the transition to electric vehicles begin to accelerate. EVs are faster, cheaper to maintain, and are on pace to become cheaper than internal combustion engines. When it comes to planes, we've never seen the transition to electric planes even begin to start. This is primarily because of the constraints of the energy density in current batteries. As of today, batteries are not able to fuel a plane during the entire flight. Even with EVs, we are still at a point where one charge won't be enough for a long road trip. However, Tesla has been preparing to release a battery that has far more density than previous lithium-ion batteries. Many battery experts will say that 400 watt hours per kilogram is the point where batteries are dense enough to allow for vertical takeoff and landing. Vertical takeoff and landing, also known as VTOL, is exactly what it sounds like. The ability to fly an aircraft straight up and land like a drone. This type of technology is used in many military aircrafts and is especially helpful for environments that don't have enough space for horizontal takeoff. If you have a compelling aircraft, you only really need about 400 watt hours per kilogram, provided your the, your, the percentage of cell on the craft on the, on the aircraft is high. It doesn't need to be anywhere near as high as the, it is on a rocket. Um, but if it's sort of at the 70% level um, at 400 watt hours per kilogram, um, you can do very decent range. Elon Musk himself has stated that 400 watt hours per kilogram with high cycle life and produced in volume is not very far and will likely happen in three to four years. In addition, he already has a design for a VTOL jet and is prepared to make one when the battery density allows him to. Now, have you ever looked at planes and gone, I could fix this? I just don't have the time. Yeah. Too busy making I have a design for a plane. You do? Yes. A better design? I mean, probably, I think it is, yes. Who have you talked to about this? And I've talked to friends. Friends? And friends and... I'm your friend. Girlfriends and... You can tell me. <laughs> What do you got? What's going on? Well, I mean, the exciting thing to do would be some sort of electric vertical takeoff and landing, supersonic jet of some kind. Vertical takeoff and landing meaning no need for a runway. Just shoot up straight yes. in the air and then... Choo. So we know that Elon has a design for a Tesla VTOL jet. As I covered in the beginning of this video, the Concorde failed to become mainstream for three key reasons. Fuel was costly, the plane was noisy, and the gas damaged the ozone layer. Tesla's upcoming electric plane eliminates all three of these issues. For one, electricity is much cheaper than fuel, and at worst, will have a cost on parity with gas planes running at normal speeds. Additionally, electric is much quieter than engines as demonstrated with electric vehicles. EVs are so quiet that there have been serious debates about mandating fake engine sounds on all electric cars. So if I were to go down here now and shift it into drive, I'll be quiet, you're, you're gonna hear this kind of hum. Furthermore, I'm pretty sure everyone would be much happier if they didn't hear this sound the entire flight. In addition, there wouldn't be much if any damage to the ozone layer because the plane is running on electricity. All of these factors make perfect sense when it comes to electric planes. T 
typically, when it comes to gas-powered planes, the higher you go, the less efficient the plane is. On the other hand, with electric planes, the higher you go, the more efficient the plane is. Elon Musk has discussed this before, and pay close attention because this has massive potential. Like the, I think the optimal sort of air transport solution is a VTOL uh, electric supersonic plane. Um, and, and it actually works together quite well for a, a bunch of reasons. Um, uh, in, in, in particular, the higher you go, the, the better the electric, the more efficient the electric aircraft is. Whereas if you have a combustion aircraft, as you, as you get higher, it, get, it tends to get worse. Because uh, you have a kind of a fixed aperture uh, and uh, air scoop. Yeah, like the, the engine is uh, the hole in the front of the engine is 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 a fixed size, and so you have to pick a particular cruising altitude, and so you've got to figure out how do you uh, get the right amount of air at sea level all the way through really high altitude, um, and then you've got this issue of super, supersonic combustion that you know you see you end up having to slow the air down, and it ends up being. Um, not, not that efficient, but an electric after aircraft would just get better and better as, as it got uh, higher. Because electric aircraft gets more efficient the higher you go, this will actually allow for supersonic speeds far faster than you can imagine. With every foot climbed, air gets thinner and thinner, resulting in less air resistance. This theory is what Elon explained in the previous clip, as with engines, you have to find a way to get the right amount of air in order to operate efficiently. This doesn't apply with electric airplanes, as an electric plane travels higher and higher, there is less air resistance on a plane, allowing the plane to go faster and faster. This is why it's much easier to fly faster in space than in the atmosphere. Elon explained this when he was proposing his Hyperloop project, which is a project that looks to create a supersonic train built inside a tunnel. In order to go really fast with a plane, you have to climb pretty, pretty high because the atmosphere just looks like molasses when you're going fast. Uh, so you, you know, for distances certainly under 500 miles, you spend all your time just ascending and descending and you don't really get an opportunity to spend time at cruise. Uh, so something like the Hyperloop can comp complete really well in that arena because uh, you, you instantly, or very almost instantly, enter a low pressure environment. Estimating the speed that an electric plane could go at is extremely difficult given that the technology is at an early stage. In terms of miles per hour, Rolls-Royce has been looking to make an electric plane that could fly up to 300 miles per hour. But Tesla could easily outcompete that by a substantial amount with far superior battery technology and designing. Whenever a new technology comes into the playing field, the long dominating company must make a choice. Do they go all in on tech or stick to what they've been doing for years? Most of the time, long dominating companies will choose a second choice and run the risk of going obsolete which is what happened to Nokia and Blockbuster. So given that we know that this happens all the time, Boeing and Airbus may get disrupted very soon. Elon believes this is true because the companies have become extremely risk averse, and rightfully so. The strategy makes sense until you get disrupted. Well, it seems unlikely to come from Boeing or Airbus, given that they seem to be focused on very incremental improvements to the planes as opposed to radical improvements. Overall, an electric plane really starts to make sense when the batteries are dense enough to allow for supersonic flight. In addition, Tesla's goal has always been to accelerate the world to sustainable energies. And in order to do so, the company must disrupt aircraft. Let me know whether you think Tesla will be able to disrupt Boeing and Airbus. Do you believe that Boeing or Airbus will catch on to the technology? Or do you think that Tesla will shock the traditional airline manufacturers with a groundbreaking VTOL jet? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.